All right, all right. Here we go. This is Mr. Longo with a video on slope and lines in a coordinate plane. So the first thing we need to be able to do is calculate the slope of a line when you just have the coordinate plane. Now, of course, you can copy the coordinates down and find it algebraically if you would like to, but it's much easier to just learn how to count to find slope. Recommendation, start with the left point. Because when you start with the left point, it's going to be pretty easy to follow. Because then if you start left, if you go up, you're going to have a positive slope. And if you go down, you're going to have a negative slope. And usually we read left to right anyway. So to find the slope of AB, first you just count how far you go up or down. So this needs to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So we went up 4 over and if you start left you're always going to go to the right so we go one two three to the right to get to B and every time you go up if you start from the left then you just reduce your slope at all times we have four thirds and it is a positive slope and if we were to look at this from left to right it is increasing so that's how you calculate the slope so why don't you try finding the slope of CD on your own and when you're ready click play give it a try So let's see how you did. If you start at C, you're at the leftmost point. First thing you do is go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you go down 6, which means that's a negative 6, over 1, 2, 3 to get to D. So negative 6 over 3 reduces to a negative 2 slope. And that's it. That's how you read slope from a graph. So to take it a step farther, we're going to bring back parallel and perpendicular lines. So the first thing you're going to need to do to graph a line that is parallel or perpendicular to a given line, you have two things to do first. First, you have to find the slope of the given line. So we're going to find the slope of MN and we're going to be going up 2 and right 3 to get to the next point. So the slope of MN is 2 thirds. So the next thing you have to do is remember parallel and perpendicular slopes. So remember parallel lines have the same slope when perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slope. So a slope that's parallel to MN is going to have a slope of 2 thirds, the same slope. But a line that is perpendicular to MN is going to have an opposite reciprocal slope. So it's going to be negative 3 halves. Okay? So once you have the slopes, all you have to do is go create another line through that point. So a parallel line to MN through A we just go to A and create a slope of a positive two-thirds. So we're going to go up two over three, put a dot, and connect the lines. And there you go. A slope of two-thirds. As you see, they're parallel and are never going to intersect. To do a perpendicular line to MN through B, you just have to take the perpendicular slope, which is negative 3 halves. You go to B, and you go down 3 over 2. And if you want, you can go down 3 more over 2 if you'd like to see if it intersects nicely, which it does. And then you just connect these dots to form a line. And those will be perpendicular to one another. So simply knowing how to read slope from a graph and knowing the difference between parallel and perpendicular slopes, um, creating lines that are parallel or perpendicular is actually pretty easy. All right, that's it for this video. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.